these are the new arrivals and this is where they have been staying without a tent some for as long as 10 days they have not been registered yet so they are here with everything that they could carry as they crossed over the border and they're they're not allowed into the camp yet because uh, they have not qualified as refugees so they have to stay out here uh, they're, they're not given a tent we started collecting messages from people that we met across America every time I see a child, I think of your children. I think how much we all love our children and want them to be safe, and you must love your children that much and want them to be safe. Well, my dear friends, uh, we in the United States Senate and the American people are behind you. Our thoughts and our prayers are with you. Many of us, as well as millions of Americans, are aware of the terrible things that are happening. We'll do everything that we can to try and see that this terrible burden is lifted from, from these wonderful people. When will people learn that we have to take care of one another? I love you very much and I care for your children. Mira Sorvino and we haven't forgotten all of you people of Darfur. We feel for you, we bleed for you, and we're trying to do everything in our power to send help. Hi, I know you don't know me, but I just wanted to say I am so sorry for what is going on and I just want you guys to hold out on hope because there is hope and there are people that love you in this world still and you guys will make it through. We are going to be doing as much as we can to help your situation. We prayed for you last night, and I personally will pray for you daily. God bless. This is John Prendergast. I work with the International Crisis Group now, and I've come to visit uh, the refugee camps in Chad five or six times over the last three years since they were established and um, traveled into rebel-held areas of Darfur a few times as well from across the border. Um, working here amongst the hundreds of thousands of other people around the United States trying to get our government to respond more appropriately to the human suffering that exists in Darfur. My name is Jim and this is my grandson Nico and we want to tell the people of Darfur that we really care about them because they are hurting and struggling and we are with them. We want to say that we support them. Isn't that right Nico? My name is Barack Obama and I'm the United States Senator uh, from the state of Illinois. And to all of you who are uh, in Darfur right now I just want to say that uh, there are many of us in the United States uh, including here in the United States Senate. Uh, that care very much about what happens there. Just know that there are those of us here who are working on your behalf, uh, and uh, we, uh, we are praying for you and uh, look forward to uh, having you be able to go back home and, and raise your families in peace. We haven't forgotten you, uh, and although we can't even imagine the suffering that you're experiencing, that, that we're just, we're, we're going to do everything we can in our power to bring you back to where you belong and to make your lives whole again. I'm Samantha Power. Uh, I, I'm a scholar of genocide and an activist. And one of the things that I found in um, researching the U.S. response to the Rwandan genocide is that the only way that people like you get help is not if governments know about what's happening to you, but if it's citizens in other countries around the world, people like you, actually stand up and demand that their governments do more. Governments, as you know from what your government is doing to you, don't actually care about people, but they do care in democracies about elections. So what we're trying to do here and will continue to try to do for you is to make it clear to the U.S. government that it will actually pay a price in terms of what it cares about if it doesn't do more to protect you and to ensure that someday you can go back to your homes. But we're thinking of you and we're not going to let it die as your families have been forced to. Good luck. 
Um, hopefully next time then when we meet him, we meet him inside of a, of a peaceful Darfur. Yeah. I'm he said that uh, he thanks uh, very much to the American people that uh, against of the uh, who are against uh, of uh, the genocide of Darfur.